Hakim Muhammad Saeed Urdu Kim Mehmd Sid the 9th of January 1920 to the 17th of October 1998 was a medical researcher scholar philanthropist and a governor of Sindh province Pakistan from 1993 until 1996 Saeed was one of Pakistan's most prominent medical researchers in the field of eastern medicines He established the Hamdard Foundation in 1948 prior to his settlement in West Pakistan in a few years' time, the herbal medical products of the Hamdard Foundation became household names in Pakistan. Hakim Muhammad Saeed authored and compiled about 200 books in medicine, philosophy, science, health, religion, natural medicine, literary, social, and travelogues. In 1981, Saeed became one of the founding member of the World Cultural Council, a non-profit international organization, based in Mexico. On 17 October 1998, Saeed was assassinated by a group of unknown assailants while he was on his way to attend a medical experiment at the Hamdard Laboratories in Karachi. His killing prompted Prime Minister of Pakistan, Nawaz Sharif to impose direct federal rule over the Sindh province. <laughs> Early life and career Hakim Muhammad Saeed was born in Delhi, British Indian Empire in 1920 to an educated and religious Urdu-speaking class family. His forefathers and family had been associated with the herbal medicine business, and had established the Hamdard Waqf Laboratories in India before 1947, which today has emerged as one of the largest manufacturers of Unani medicines in the world. Saeed attended the local school where he learned Arabic, Persian, Urdu, English and studied the Quran. At age 18, Hakim went on to attend the University of Delhi in 1938. There, Saeed obtained a B-Pharmacy degree and a Bachelor of Science degree in Medicinal Chemistry in 1942. After his undergraduate education, Saeed joined Hamdard Waqf Laboratories as a junior researcher and participated in herbal quality control while formulating medicines. In 1945, Saeed attended the postgraduate course, and obtained a master's degree in pharmacy from the same institution. Before 1947, Hakim Saeed was also involved in the Pakistan movement activities. After the independence of Pakistan in 1947, Saeed left his hometown with his wife and only daughter. The family settled in Karachi, Sindh province of West Pakistan. He established Hamdard Laboratories and served as its first director until his death in 1998. In 1952, Saeed traveled to Turkey where he attended the Ankara University and was awarded a PhD degree in pharmacy, then returned to Pakistan to devote his life to medicine research. Topic scholarship Following his settlement in Pakistan, Saeed began practicing medicine and continued to research in Eastern medicine. Having established the Hamdard Laboratories in 1948, Saeed was one of the driving forces in Pakistan for engaging in the research in medical biology and medicine. In 1953, after his doctorate degree, Saeed joined the Sindh University as the Associate Professor of Pharmacy and taught courses in organic chemistry. In 1963, Saeed resigned from his position because of differences with the federal government. In 1964, Saeed came into public limelight when he gave rogue criticism to Lieutenant General Wajid Ali Khan Burki, then Surgeon General Pakistan of Army Medical Corps who was a high-profile officer leading the then Ministry of Health under the government of Field Marshal Ayub Khan. Saeed criticized the general, saying, General Wajid Burki used to say that Eastern medicine and homeopathy were quackery. Saeed began to write articles, organized conferences and lobbied hard for the Eastern medicine, and Ayub Khan had to pass a law legalizing Eastern medicine, due to a fear of his government losing credibility among the people. In 1985, Hakim Muhammad Saeed founded Hamdard University, where he served as its first vice chancellor and as a professor. The crowning activity of his life is the establishment of Medinat al Hikmah campus in Karachi. It comprises Hamdard University with such institutes as Hamdard College of Medicine and Dentistry, Hamdard al-Majid College of Eastern Medicine, Hafiz Muhammad Ilyas Institute of Herbal Sciences, Hamdard Institute of Education and Social Sciences, Hamdard Institute of Management Sciences, Hamdard Institute of Information Technology, Hamdard School of Law, Faculty of Engineering Science and Technology, Hamdard Public School and Hamdard Village School. Bayt al-Hikmah the library is also a constituent part of Medinat al-Hikmah. 
This is one of the biggest and best stocked libraries of Pakistan. Saeed wrote, edited or compiled over 200 books and journals in Urdu and English on Islam, education, Pakistan, science, medicine and health. Besides writing travelogues of countries he visited, he also wrote books especially for youth and children. He also edited some journals such as Hamdard Islamicus, Hamdard Medicus, Journal of the Pakistan Historical Society Historicus, Hamdard Sahat and Hamdard Nanihal. For several years he was also the editor of Payami, the Urdu edition of UNESCO's journal Courier. Saeed participated in various international conferences on medicine, science, education and culture and travelled widely to many countries of the world. While in Pakistan, he organized numerous international and national conferences on topics of prime importance. Saeed created two widely attended national forums, Hamdard Shura for leaders of public opinion and Nanihal Assembly for children. He held offices and memberships in dozens of national and international organizations related to education and healthcare. He launched two journals, Hamdard Medicus and Hamdard Islamicus. Hamdard e Sahat, which was already being published under his editorship since 1940, also appeared from Karachi in 1948. He launched a magazine for young readers, Hamdard Nanihal, and established a separate division, Nanihal Adab, for producing quality books for children. Saeed was an exponent of Eastern medicine who had treated patients from all over the world including Pakistan, Europe, Africa and the Middle East by the time of his death in October 1998. He helped get alternative medicine recognized by the World Health Organization WHO. After a 50-year career as a practitioner of Greco-Arab medicine, he was posthumously awarded the nishan e imtiaz by the government of Pakistan in 2002. Topic. Books written Topic Islamic related religion, Islamic studies, Islamic law, education and literature in English Nuristan radio speeches on Quran e Hakim and Our Lives published in 1987. The Employer and the Employee, Islamic Concept published in 1972 Islamic Concept of State published in 1983 Essays on Islam four volumes published between 1992-1998 Voice of Morality published in 1985 Man, The World, Peace Main Currents of Contemporary Thought in Pakistan two volumes, History and Biography in English published in 1973 Al-Biruni, His Time, Life and Works, co-author, Dr. Ansar Zahid Khan Published in 1981, Personalities Noble. Published in 1983, Road to Pakistan. Co-authors: Dr. Moin ul Haq, Professor Sharif ul Mujahid, Drive. Ansar Zahid Khan. Published in 1990. Topic medicine and History of Medicine Al Biruni's book on pharmacy and materia medica published in 1973 Diseases of Liver Greco-Arab Concepts published in 1982 Cardiovascular Diseases Greco-Arab Concepts published in 1983 Hamdard Pharmacopoeia of Eastern Medicine published in 1969 Oral Health published in 1994 Medicine in China published in 1965 Pharmacy and Medicine Through the Ages published in 1969 Traditional Greco-Arab and Modern Western Medicine, Conflict and Symbiosis published in 1975 Pakistan Encyclopedia Planta Medica two volumes, co-authors, Dr. Vikar Adin Ahmed and Drive. Atta ur Rahman published in 1986 Medicinal Herbal two volumes published in 1996 Background of Yunani Arabic and Islamic Medicine and Pharmacy published in 1997 Ethics for Medics published in 1997 Topic. Children's literature Love and Peace published in 1990 Dostan Four Parts published in 1991 Let Us Talk Health published in 1989 Peace Primer, co-author F.A. Anvary published in 1991 The Best of Goodness published in 1991 The Greatest Man published in 1991 a Primer of Health for Children of the World published in 1993 A World Without Polio Children's Thematic Poster Competition published in 1996 Topic <laughs> Death and Investigation Hakim Muhammad Saeed was murdered on the 17th of October 1998 
His murderers were caught by Dig Farouk Amin Qureshi, CCPO Karachi at that time. He was highly appreciated and is one of the most renowned police officers of Pakistan to this day. Several persons were arrested and subsequently sentenced to death by an anti-terrorism court. On 26 April 2014, the Supreme Court upheld the verdict of Sindh High Court regarding acquittal of MQM workers in Hakim Saeed murder case. An anti-terrorism appellate bench of the SHC had acquitted all nine people accused of murdering famous philanthropist and physician Hakim Saeed in 2001. The verdict was challenged by the then provincial government. MQM workers, Muhammad Amarullah, Muhammad Shakir alias Shakir Langra and Abu Imran Pasha, were among those acquitted by the court. Legacy, awards and recognition Kuwait Prize for Tib-i Islami in 1983 Sitara-i Imtiaz Award by the President of Pakistan in 1966 Nishan-i Imtiaz Award by the President of Pakistan in 2002 Many prominent personalities of Lahore gathered at the Hamdard Center on his death anniversary in 2011, to pay tributes to him. Hakim Saeed was portrayed as someone who had a multi-dimensional personality, a patriot of the highest order, and who is a role model for the youth as he set worthwhile examples of hard work, honesty and love for humanity. <laughs> 